today and I'm going to be doing a video on things that I bought when I went shopping with my mom yesterday. So it's like a haul of things from Sephora and um, a big item that I got and uh, something from Jonathan Adler and what else? A phone cover, stuff like that. And uh, I don't usually make like impulse buys on big items because I'm just not that kind of person. I'm kind of more methodical when it comes to like a big purchase. But I've learned that, and I'll show you at the end what I bought. With Chanel items, what I found is that if you find something from Chanel that you like, and if you can afford it at the time, I know like luckily for me, I you know have been saving up because I wanted to get something. I've been like you know putting money in like a separate place because I've been saving for something. But um, if you do have the money at the time and you find something from that brand, Chanel, you should probably get it if you can. Because what I, with my experience, what I've learned is that Mich Chanel doesn't just you know mass produce things and they can't order things in. So um, I've, I've like missed out on so many bags and not so many bags and things that I thought I could just order when I saved the money, but you just never can. So I'll show you in the end what I got, but before that, I'm gonna start off with like the littler things and things I'm excited about and wanting to share with you. Um, all right, so because my phone is like right here, I'll show it to you. So I have this phone, it's just the white iPhone, and um, I went into J. Crew, and they had these really pretty, like I think it's almost a lizard, not lizard, uh, is it lizard? No, like a snake? I don't know, but it's like a hot pink snake. And it was more than I've ever spent on a phone case. I think it was like $20, $30. But it's like leather, I think. So it's kind of nice and I, I like it. But this is my first day using it, so I don't know kind of how it will hold up, I guess. But I like it so far and like the color pink is just really kind of pretty. Okay, the next thing I got, um, actually this I did not get with my mom, but I wanted to show you guys. So if you follow my blog, sorry, I'm looking at the camera. So if you follow my blog, you would see that I recently wore, yesterday actually wore this uh, helmet laying jacket that I found on sale at Bloomingdale's and I think it's still on sale there and if you look for it online like it in different kind of um, stores online they are on sale this one's on sale for three hundred and something dollars which is a I know it's a lot of money but it's a really good price for this jacket and if you're like me who just really likes to invest in pieces that you'll pretty much never have to get rid of this is a really good piece for that I will say though that helmet laying jackets are made in China and I really think that's I don't understand why they're six hundred and some odd dollars if they're made not you know if they're made in China. Usually, I wouldn't invest in something like that. But they are really nice. The one I'm wearing now is also helmet lang. I have two helmet lang jackets, and I bought them both at discounted rates. So I'm really happy about that. But um, this is the jacket, and it kind of just looks. Ooh, sorry. One of the arms is in. Kind of. I don't know if you can tell, but it's just a black kind of jacket, and it um, the sleeves are like see-through, chiffon or just sheer, I don't know really what the um, material is. And then it has a really pretty kind of clasp here. It's like a little um, metal piece, but it looks like it would be an, like a kind of an animal's tooth or like a some kind of an antler or something like it's supposed to look like. But it's really nice. It fits like a glove and um, the shoulder pads on it are literally like it just they're perfect they're so kind of structured just perfectly I really like them a lot um, I this is, this is a size 6 and it fits so if you guys are like the same kind of I know a lot of people ask what what size I get and things like that so this is a 6 if you're the same size as me I would go for that one I didn't want to go I usually go really oversized on jackets because I just like the way they fit when they're oversized but I didn't go oversized on this I went just like true to size and it fits me really nicely okay so then also what did I get okay so I went to anthropology with my mom and uh, we got well, I made her get these too because I have this lotion and I love it it's by bar and co and it's um fine shea butter lotion but I'm really picky about scents, you guys know that I say that all the time. This smells almost like coconut with shea and oatmeal. I don't know, it's really kind of fresh and clean and nice smell or scent. And also, it almost feels like you're putting like water on your skin. It doesn't feel oily at all. And I can't stand when lotions are oily. So I really like this. So I already had this, so I bought the um, hand soap. 
to go with it. I made my mom get the um, the lotion because I just think it's I love it. Okay, then I went to Jonathan Adler because um, my mom actually for my launch for my launch party my mom got me a, a, a the a Jonathan Adler tote bag like the beach summer tote bag, but it was a little different in person and we both decided that we didn't. Um, kind of like it as much as we might like something else. So uh, we exchanged it for, I got this candle and I have a little bit out, uh, um, left over that I have put on a gift card. But I love this candle so much. If you guys like Jonathan Adler, you know he does pottery and that's how he started his uh, interior design business. And he put, he, put this, he put a candle in one of his pottery pieces, which is really neat because I can keep this nice pottery piece after the candle finishes. But what drew me to it even more is the smell. Um, really, go check this out. I've, it smells so good. I can't even describe what it smells like. What does it say? It doesn't even say. But it's the blue one. I think there was a blue one, a black color one, and I forgot one more, but this is the blue one. I wish it wasn't blue because it doesn't really go in my, hat, my, my place, but it smells so, so good. Um, and the pottery is pretty too. It has like kind of different like faces going all the way around. It's a little like creepy and mysterious, but I like that. It's interesting. Okay, um, then for Sephora things, I went to Sephora and I had a lot of different, I had a, like an accumulation of things that I had to exchange. So I brought them all with me and I put it towards. So I did buy it like a lot it looks like, but I thank, a lot, thank God I had a, an exchange, some exchanges. So I'm just going to go through this quickly because I think you guys might know what these are. This is their hot, one of their hot pink brushes. I got, I think it's number 111. And I already have the really big poofy brush of this hot pink one, but I don't really like the shape of this. But this is more like a paddle shape and looks like it's probably perfect for like blush. So I want to try that. Okay, then I got this. It's the um, Josie Moran Bohemian Waves Argan hair mist and it was in like the section where they're talking about like beach waves or something in Sephora so I wanted to give this a try and I love love my Sasha one hair uh, ocean mist that I use all the time with a Swedish brand that you can also find at Sephora and I just love it so much I have no complaints about it um, but I figured I, I could try something fun something else this was $22 it wasn't that much so um, maybe add it to my hair routine I don't know let's see what it looks like though It's a nicer bottle. It's a glass bottle too with kind of a neat spray. The Sasha one is more expensive and it's in a plastic bottle. Not that it matters, but it's kind of neat that it's a glass bottle. Okay, then next thing I got is this. This is not from Sephora. Though. This is from um, Nordstrom. I got this Deborah Lippmann nail polish in I'm Not Innocent, and I really like it. I've been looking for, I'm really picky, you guys know that, I'm just so picky about things, but I've been looking for the perfect nude nail polish because I have these really kind of long, sharp nails, and um, I really want to do these nails that aren't glitter in like a perfectly nude skin color. I think they'd look really neat, almost like my, it would just blend in totally to my hands. So this is what I got, and I think it's really kind of a nice, pretty color. I hope it's like the same color that it is in the bottle on my fingers. Can't wait to try that. Okay, then next I got this Laura Mercier lipstick, and it said it was a limited edition color, and I didn't even try it on. I just kind of picked it up and threw it in my basket because it's gorgeous, and I just hope it looks good on me. But it's, I hope it's coming up right. It's like the perfect kind of coral peach color. It's very subdued and um, like a good nude coral color. Then next I got this Tarte lipstick. And I wanted to get this before, but I got a, red, a redder version. Um, I forgot the colors. I got one like this, but it's a, a more of a red color. This one is Tarte Charmed. And it's just a really light pink, uh, I think it's like a lip, the lip tint, yeah. And it's like a really light kind of bubblegum pink. Let's see. 
Okay, then I got something that I don't know if I'll like, but I hope I will. Everyone on YouTube likes it. So NARS, um, everyone pretty much has that or color called Orgasm. I don't have it because I have other colors that are similar, so I've never really invested in it. But this palette from NARS, um, you get their NARS Orgasm and their bronzer in Laguna, which I know a lot of people on YouTube also use. So I figured, well, it comes with two colors. That's, that will be really kind of fun to try. So, and it's a pretty palette too. It's like really large. I like it. And uh, let's see, a couple more things. So next is this Laura Mercier um, eyeshadow, and I just wanted like a really plain eyeshadow that uh, is almost skin color, and I didn't want any shimmer or anything, and I think this will do the trick. It's called Vanilla Nuts, and it's just like literally the color of powder. I just wanted it to kind of brighten my eyes and just, it, I don't really, you guys know I don't wear too much skin or too much um, eyeshadow. I pretty much never do. Okay, last thing from Sephora is this Bare Minerals. I don't want to open it though because it's just a translucent powder from Bare Minerals. I wanted to ask you guys though, because I use um, the Chanel translucent powder and the Laura Mercier uh, loose translucent powder, um, I really like the, both of those, but I wanted to try something different just because I didn't want to miss out on something better. Have you tried this one? It's a pressed powder by Bare Minerals, and it's a translucent. So I want to know if I should keep it or not. That. And this is fun, too. Um, I got this little thing in Koreatown, and um, it goes in the top of your phone. It's like a little charm, and isn't that so pretty? <laughs> so the only reason why I actually took it off is because... When I take a picture of something, when I try to take a picture of something, that dumb bow gets in the way, unfortunately. And I've tried to like turn it or something so that it stays on this side, but it just doesn't. But I still like it. Okay, so now for like the big surprise. All right, here it goes. <laughs> I'm excited to show you guys. So here's the box. And um, I want to like go off on a tangent about it for a second. I have been wanting this bag, it's a bag, for a very long time. And I told myself that, I, well, what I really, really want, like, ultimately, is the maxi um, flap. It's like the original Chanel, it, with the black one with the gold hardware. But I'm just not gonna spend that much money again. I'm just not, so I'm thinking, like, if I get married or something and have, like, a, a kid and, like, you know, we're doing well or something, that can be, like, a reward. <laughs> Like a gift is a <laughs> I don't know. So, but I don't want to like spend, invest in another Chanel bag. So, like, I thought this, I, anyway, I didn't even know how much this bag was, but I've always had it in my head that I wanted it. And yesterday when I was at the Chanel boutique in Neiman Marcus, uh, the lady there, I had told her I was looking for just a small kind of um, bag that I could run around with um, that was big enough to hold a lot, kind of a lot of stuff, but I didn't want like a regular sized purse. And I knew what I wanted in my head, but I didn't even ask her for it because I just assumed they didn't have it. Anyway, she had it. <laughs> so of course, I decided I was going to get it. Here it is, and I'm just like head over heels in love with it. I wanted, I've been wanting this bag for so long. Um, not so long, just it's been one of the things that I just thought I've always wanted to add to my collection. And it's perfect in size. Like it holds exactly what I want. It holds my sunglasses, my keys, makeup, my phone. Um, what else? Right now, I use it today, so I do have things in it. Um, I have money, I have receipts, and my credit cards, my glasses, my glasses were in here, my phone was in here. It was perfect, and I still have a lot of room. Um, so let me just take everything out so you can see how it looks on the inside. And okay, I don't even, I, I, I don't like telling anyone the prices, but I really find it useful and I don't think it's bragging because anyone could just go online and type in how much this costs. So I'm just going to tell you how much it costs because it's helpful and I did this with my Alexander Wang bag and I told you guys how much it was and a lot of people were thankful for that. So this bag was $2,200. Um, and it's a lambskin, it's not the caviar, and I don't have a Chanel lambskin bag yet, so um, I'm, I'm excited to try it. But anyway, let me show you the inside. 
it's just a big, not big, but let's see, it fits like two fists inside. I'm trying to like think how I could t describe it. Um, it fits like two, maybe like, yeah, like two maybe cans of Coke would fit in here. That's how big it is. And then it has like a zipper and a little um, like pocket. And in the back it has a signature um, Chanel pocket here too. So that's that, and it, it can go crossbody or it can just like hang here. And I just like I love it. It was like it wasn't even an impulse buy from me because I've had it in my head for so long that I wanted it. So it was just honestly, it was like it was there for me to buy. So <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Uh, that's it. Oh, let me show you this too. It's kind of cute. I got this from Koreatown also, and it's a little like jacket. Hold on, let me show you. It's a little like jacket that holds your keys, and it's a fur jacket. <laughs> Hot pink. Isn't that cute? And inside, it's like, you can put your keys on the inside of there, and then you close it up. Isn't that the cutest thing? I really love it so much. Okay, uh, that's it. Let me talk about what I'm wearing on my face. Um, so my hair is just braided from last night and I took it down and this is what it looks like and I've been doing that all the time now because I just don't have like the time to curl my hair and I don't want to damage my hair so much so I'm just doing this now and it's summer so it's more carefree. Um, on my cheeks I'm using something by Makeup Forever, I think I've talked about it before, I don't remember the name. And on my lips I'm wearing this Bobbi Brown Pink Bright Lip Gloss in number 20. And um, talked about my hair. My eyes are just wearing mascara, and then I have some eyeliner on my the inside of my eyelid on the top only. Um, I have Anastasia on my eyebrows, and I'm wearing my gloss chic and silver and the the shape the say chic um, together. Uh, this is my helmet lang blazer, black tank top. Um, another one of my pieces, the La Argent. And then the bag. I showed you guys the bag. So I hope you guys like this video. And I don't usually do hauls, so I hope you guys who do like hauls like this video. And um, that's it. I'll see everyone later. Bye.